Who's in the kitchen with Eileen? Who's in the kitchen with Eileen? Who's in the kitchen with Eileen? It's fun for for kids with Miss Eileen. Who's in the oh, kitchen with Eileen? Who's in the kitchen with Eileen? Who's in the kitchen with Eileen? We're going to have fun food for kids with Miss Eileen. Miss Eileen, you don't need to change your shirt. Because here's the thing, everybody knows that we're filming this on the same day. Miss Eileen... Hello there. What time? Oh my gosh, peanut butter and jellyfish? Peanut butter and jellyfish. Well, I didn't finish making my sample. Dude, if we don't have this one, we need to get it. I can just tell that right. Is, besides, that author is great. That is a super, super cute If book. we don't have this book, email Miss Cara about it. Okay. That, well, what? What? I'm finishing up my sample here. This looks so cute. Because See, this is really behind the scenes with Miss Eileen. Because you took me by surprise here. We really surprised. So, how cute is that? So, isn't that cute? Oh my gosh! But I can see there's already some tools here that are going to make us need some. Yeah. Right. So. Yeah. I have the recipe here. All right. Jellyfish sandwiches. Yeah. Now, actually. It originally was peanut butter and jellyfish sandwiches. However, yeah, because so, so many people are allergic yeah, to the yeah. peanuts, is I try to stay away from the you peanut butter. You can just make it without, you know, peanut butter. So, or if you do like peanut butter, you could add it if you can right. have it. Yeah. So we're going to have it's a jelly sandwich, but it's going to be in the shape of a jellyfish. Mm. It is Dude, so cool. I love that. So jellyfish need, jelly sandwich. And let me get this out of the room. Where did I put Dude, it? Dude, this makes so much better. It's such a good, I love that. Isn't that is the cutest thing? Now the only thing I don't have, I didn't buy a whole stock of celery just to get Nobody really likes celery you know, anyway. The little the little yeah. mouth on it. But yeah. You know what? I think I think it looks cute without it. I think it looks better without it. So I think it looks better without it. So Again, you want to have your special adult helping yes. you, okay? Because you need a grown-up because you're going to use a you, knife. You always need you a grown-up. You always need a grown-up. And should consult a, consult a grown-up in anything no that you're going to do doing. in the kitchen. Right, okay? right, right. So, or in the garage. So, yeah. I don't know if you cook in the garage, but... Yeah. No, so, okay. And yeah. if you notice, I put it on a light blue plate so that it looks like it's in the like ocean. the ocean. I love that. Okay. Yeah. So that's just one way that you can embellish right, your right. tree. You could put chocolate on it. I think you have a thing with I chocolate. I know. I think I do today, too. <laughs> yeah. So, what you're going to do today... Oh, what do you want? I need my second plate here. Okay. So we'll put my sample off to the that side. Magic. So we have our plate. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to use a scissors okay. to cut my bread. So you need wow. two slices of bread. Okay. I'm using whole wheat because okay. it's healthier for you. Okay. Um, you are going to need some blueberries. All right. You're going to need a banana. Okay. You're going to need some jelly. I'm okay. using grape jelly today, and you're going to need string cheese. Okay. Okay. Which is more cheese than string. It's just shaped that's, like a string. That's okay. that's right. So, I'm going to cut off my crust with the scissors. I'm using two two slices, and I'm going to cut them both so they'll be, both be the same shape. Okay. This an adult can help you if you're doing it by yourself. It might be easier to to do a single slice at okay. a time. Okay. All right, that's so, cool. Yeah. I'm going to come up, cut off the crust. I'm going to round off the edge so that we can get the top edge of our jellyfish. I guess I never thought about using scissors. That would, I mean, you'd, they'd be like kitchen scissors, like yes. not the yes. kind of kitchen like, scissors. Right. Okay. You would put like, if, you know, if you're yeah. using, if you're using, you know, a knife, a scissors, yeah. any any kind of um, uh, a pointy thing. 
if, if you're using anything, you want to use food items for food items, right. craft items for craft items. And you can see that says kitchen aid. It says kitchen yeah, aid. Yeah, so there's special so scissors. Yeah. This is right from my kitchen. Nice, so, nice, cool. So I cut out the nice curve for the top. Okay, okay, very cool. Now for the bottom one in here, you may need an adult assistant. I made it because my sample had four little, little scallops yeah. on it. For this one, I think it may be easier just to do it in threes. Yeah. Okay. Nice. So you I'm going to make little, little clips yeah. just up maybe about a half inch. So then I'm going to come and try to do a little circular motion nice. there. So I'm just curving that. Cool. Okay. <clears throat> So there you have your jellyfish. So I'm going to open that up. I'm going to place the one side on my plate. And with the jelly, I'm going to spread the jelly. Now, and you want the jelly all the way out to the edges. Yes. So that's, that's to help prevent the bread from drying out. I'm tasting bad. From tasting just like bread which bread is good though but yeah. so and then i'm going to place that right on top there nice okay right. so the next thing i'm going to take my string cheese okay. and this is the pull apart Okay. So you're just going to pull that. And notice this is pull apart cheese, not pull apart licorice. Right. I just thought I should mention that. So this kind of jellyfish also will not sting you. Yes. 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 And this will, will be the tentacles that hang down from the jellyfish. Okay. And you don't want them all hanging straight. You can see about curving them a little bit, okay, so that it gives it a little more oomph. Yes, like it, it, it's going to look like it's floating in the water. Yeah. Okay. The jellyfish floats, the jellyfish floats, jellyfish, it starts with J, the jellyfish floats. So, there you go. Nice. I have, I have our jellyfish. Now, for the eyes, the eyes, you're going to use two slices of a banana. Okay. So, I didn't remove the skin. I'm just using with a sharp knife. Why didn't I'm, you remove the skin? You know what? Because the bananas, if you don't eat it right away, they'll oh, turn brown. Oh, they turn brown. Okay. So, so, that makes it easier. And then I'm just going to pop that piece of the banana out. Boop. Place that up top. <gasps> So there we have his ah, eye. that's so cool! Now, the last thing that we're missing is the eyeball. So I'm going to place the What eyeball. did the teacher with one glass eye say whenever his eye rolled down the sink? I don't know. Uh-oh, I lost another pupil. <laughs> I had a teacher in seminary who taught me that. That was cute. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Miss Thing. So thanks. That we're was take awesome. A quick break. All right. And we'll come back and read and read the book while you Jelly are eating fish. your sandwich. Jelly fish. Okay. Thank Isn't you. Isn't that cute? Oh wait. Oh dear. Bye. Fun food for kids with Miss Eileen was brought to you today by the staff freezer. While not playing a major role, it did provide emotional support and by the staff utensil drawer for all of the good things that it holds. And fun food for kids could not be possible without a variety of other supports. Here we are checking for a glare on the book. I think people really like us because we pretend to make mistakes. Pretend? Yeah. I don't know about pretending. I think there are some just some mistakes. So, yes, but that's okay. I'm just kidding. So, 
We're back while you are jellyfish. While you are eating your jellyfish sandwich, yeah. I'm going to read. This is a cute book. Dude, Peanut butter and jellyfish. This guy, Jared Koshaka, he also wrote these books over here. The graphic novels. Yeah, the Lunch Lady series. And they're wonderful. And one of my most favorite authors in the whole wide world to listen to and to read all of his books, and I've even met him, is this guy right here. Oh, Jack Gantos. Have you ever read anything by him? I'm not sure if I have. He's amazing. Joey Pigza, he won, he's won the Newberry oh, yes. for, from yes. Dead, End, or Dead End and Norbelt. Okay, here's the deal. Yeah. When Jared was in third grade, I think, Jack Gantos came to his school. <gasps> And um, he was drawing something, and Jack Antos just walked by and said, nice cat. And that, like, changed his whole life, and Jared became what he is A now. mentor. A mentor. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. And, he, and so he decided to write. That is wonderful. Yeah. Well, this book is about friendship. Cool, cool, Old cool. Old and new friendships. Nice. Okay? All right. So... Peanut butter and jellyfish. Peanut butter and jellyfish were the best of friends. And look how beautiful the color is in this book. Yes. Best of friends who spent their days exploring up, down, around, and through their grand ocean home. Peanut butter isn't really peanut butter. No, peanut butter is a seahorse. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Unluckily for them, though, they live near Krabby. Who is a crab? You guys swim like humans, he would taunt as they slipped past. Mm. Peanut butter and jellyfish did their best to ignore the heckler. Did you hear something, asked jellyfish. No, must be the current, said peanut butter. Crabby was relentless. You guys smell like rotten barnacles. Pee you! My grandma called. She wants her run walk shoes back. Hmm. I've seen snails, sea snails swim with more style. Hmm. What a bunch of bubbleheads. He really is crabby. Dude, he is a little crabby. Yeah. Jellyfish puffed up his chest and said, Driftwood and sea stones may break our bones, but words will never hurt us. Mm. You're an invertebrate. You don't even have any bones, Huff Crabby, as he marched along his favorite rock by himself. One day, as peanut butter and jellyfish set out on an excursion to the Great Reef, they swam past Crabby's perch. They braced themselves for the usual insult, but all was quiet. Then they heard the faint sound of sobbing up ahead. <gasps> it was Krabby. Oh no. He was caught in a lobster trap and it was being lifted to the surface. I'm scared, he cried. Surely he was doomed. And jellyfish and peanut butter laughed. Just no. Should we help, asked jellyfish. The two friends shared a look. He's in serious trouble, said peanut butter. You're right. We have to help, exclaimed jellyfish. But how? I have a plan, said peanut butter. Follow me. They swam up to the lobster trap. Peanut butter used his tail <gasps> to unlock the trap grates, but Krabby didn't budge. Why? I tell you. Okay. Come on, you're free, said <gasps> Peanut Butter. Oh. But, but I can't swim, confessed Krabby, and I'm afraid of heights. Oh, no. The lobster trap was getting pulled closer to the surface. And it went out of sight forever. Plan B, exclaimed Jellyfish. He worked furiously on Ooh, untying the that. crab's knot. Able to use knot. all those tentacles, yeah. Yes. Hurry, cried Peanut Butter. I can see the fishermen above. 
just when all hope was lost, Woo! the knife gave out, sending the trap plummeting. Peanut butter and jellyfish grabbed a hold and lowered it to safety. Nice. Crabby's legs wobbled as he returned to his favorite rock. The, the, the thanks, you to 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 he stuttered. You know, I'm sorry for saying those mean things, Crabby said. He may have been afraid of heights, but Crabby was brave enough to apologize. That is cool. That is brave. I guess I was jealous. You guys seem like you're always having so much fun exploring the open waters. Mm -hmm. Well, there's plenty to explore close to the ocean floor, said Jellyfish. Ah! Oh. Peanut butter and jellyfish still swam up, down, around, and through, but it was on the ocean floor that they found their greatest treasure. And there's the three Friendship. of them. Friendship. Friendship. That's so nice. Isn't I that love that a story. Book. Dude, you have to email that title to Cara and tell her to order it. I will. Dude, that's awesome. Thank you so much. You're quite welcome, Missing. We'll see you next time, Miss Eileen. I love that. Bye. Okay, bye. Who's in the kitchen with Eileen? Who's in the kitchen with Eileen? Who's in the kitchen with Eileen? It's fun food for kids with Miss Eileen.